So it's now been about a month since I started using this AC300 from Bluetti. And for this last month, 24 hours a day roughly, I have been running this giant stand-up freezer from the 1980s that is an energy hog. It uses about nine kilowatt hours per day of electricity. Now to put that into context, my full-size kitchen refrigerator, which is relatively new within the last three or four years, it uses about 1.2 kilowatt hours per day. So while back in the 80s, they made these things to last, they did not make them energy efficient at all. It is such a huge drain on my battery bank at night because I have a whole home solar system, like off-grid style system that I really need to get this thing replaced with a more energy efficient option. But for now, this is what I have. So I've been running it on this Blue Eddy, put it through quite the test, 24 hours a day, seven days a week for about a month. I've ran this freezer on it and how it's worked basically is I have it run the battery down to about 10%. And then once it hits 10%, it automatically goes and uses the 120 volt outlet connection that I have on here to just pass through electricity from the grid or in my instance, from my solar system and battery bank. Um, but for you, if you had just grid power, it would be pulling it from the grid. And then using the app, I can just slide, toggle it over and I can have it charge it to 100% and then toggle it back down so it uses the battery again. So that's how I've been doing it for about a month. And this thing has worked flawlessly. I've had no outages where any alarms went off. It's worked perfect. And I've had almost a whole processed cow inside this freezer. So um, I put a lot of trust in it to make sure it kept that frozen. Now, in case you missed my first video, this Bluetti AC300 can run about 3000 watts continuously of 120 volt power, and it can surge up to 6,000 watts. Now to run this AC300, you have to have one of these B300 batteries. So the inverter cannot work without one of these batteries. And each of these batteries is 3,072 watt hours or a little over three kilowatt hours per battery. And the awesome thing about this unit is you can parallel or put four of these batteries in parallel together to bring it to a total of 12 kilowatt hours worth of storage. In this video, I'll also do a demonstration of how easy it is to add an additional battery. Now with this, you can easily power a couple refrigerators, shoot probably even three or four refrigerators on this thing. You can also run power tools because it does have that higher surge capability. I've ran my circular saw on this thing, no issues at all. So let me show you how to add another battery to this thing. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is turn off your AC appliances that you have connected. Obviously I have this old freezer connected, so I'm gonna turn that off right now. AC output off. There we go. I'm going to unplug it. Now I'm going to power down the unit. And we are grid charging this thing right now. We're charging it from my wall outlet, so I'm going to want to turn that off before turning off this unit. And I'm going to do that right from the app. So I've got the app right here. I'm going to hit the settings button up top. I'm going to go to PV priority. Instead of 100%, I'm just going to drag it down to below where it's at. Right now we're at 40%. Click that, and now we should see the wattage drop off here and we did so now we have no watts coming from the grid into this thing and i can confirm that both on the app and on the lcd screen here so now we should be good to go ahead and turn this unit off all right our unit is officially turned off so now i'm going to unplug it here from this battery and just add a battery right to it so here I'm unplugging the cable to the inverter. Set this unit down, put another battery on it. Put the inverter back on it. <clears throat> there we go. Now we just got to hook up the battery cables to it and we're done. All right, we got all the battery cables plugged in, so let's go ahead and turn this thing back on. All you need to do is turn on the battery power buttons, and that should power up the inverter. And that's it, just like that. We've added another battery, we're ready to rock and roll. So this is the app for the AC300. Very simple, as you can see, my battery is at 36% on this thing right now. I'm pulling nothing from the grid, and I am pulling or using 408 watts, 410 watts, and that's from that giant freezer, 1980s freezer, which pulls a ton of energy. Um, so here's how simple it is to just tell it, hey, I want you to grid charge it. 
to 100% as quick as possible. So I just go to the settings icon up here. And then you would go to PV priority, the working mode right here. And at the top, you can see the state of charge settings at 9%. All I have to do is click on that. And then down here and drag that up to 100%. Hit OK. And go back now. And you'll see it immediately will start grid charging. There you go. 1.8 kilowatt hours we're pulling from the grid right now, or actually for me, I'm not pulling from the grid. I'm really pulling from my solar system tied to my house. So that's how easy it is to just charge this thing. Or I can tell it to stop charging doing the same thing. It's just that easy. Now, another neat feature of this Bluetti AC300 is if you bought two of these units and at least two batteries connected to each one, so a total of two of these and four batteries, you can actually connect these things in parallel and run 240 volts to be able to power your whole entire house in the event of a grid outage. And if you hooked it up like that, it would be just like a generator. If you hooked up a propane or a gas generator to your house, you would have a little lockout breaker, basically locking out the grid so the grid couldn't come back on at the same time you had this sending power to your panel. So you'd have a little lockout switch and then you'd have a little generator port where you can just plug in the 240 volt outlet that comes from this Blue Eddy AC300 to that port and then you can power your whole house. Now, obviously within reason, because you're gonna have, the max you can have is four batteries on each of these. So that's a total of about 24 kilowatt hours. And the average home uses about 20 to 30 kilowatt hours a day. So you would have basically a whole day of backup storage if you max this thing out. And of course, in the event of a grid outage, you would dial back your electricity usage to extend how long these would last. Now, one test I plan to do on this thing in the future is see how long two of these B300 batteries and the AC300 can run a 5,000 BTU window air conditioner. because so I do have one of those in one of my guest bedrooms in my house. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and be notified when I put out that video. Now, last night here in Central Texas, we had a crazy thunderstorm. I mean, lightning all over the place. You did not want to be standing outside in it. But we just heard that one of our neighbors got struck by lightning. Their house got struck by lightning. It actually hit their chimney and they have a wood burning stove that they have set right inside the living room, right outside their fireplace. So they use the fireplace vent as how to vent the wood burning stove out. And when that lightning bolt hit their fireplace or the chimney up top, the electricity from that went all the way through down into the wood burning stove and literally exploded the tile that it was sitting on underneath it. And in addition to that, it blew out their entire electrical meter as well. So they haven't had electricity since last night. So actually we just sent them a text saying, hey, we can run this Blue Eddy AC300 over to you. Um, and we've got a total of four batteries for this thing that you guys can just plug in your refrigerators and be good for at least three to four days on that. Be able to at least keep those the critical items on and running. So in a few minutes here, I might be running this thing over there. But what that shows is this is a great thing to have for something, I mean, accidents happen. You can lose power, whether that's from the weather, whether that's from just an overloaded grid, it's smart to have some sort of backup to be able to plug your refrigerators into. And I think this AC300 is a great choice for that. And I'll have a link in the description of this video to where you can purchase this. And I'll also have a discount code in the description as well that can knock $100 off it. Now, right now, the AC300 with one of these B300 batteries costs about $2,599. And that's before my discount. And if you wanted to add additional batteries to it, each of these batteries are about $1,599 to add. Well, if you got value from this video and you enjoy this type of content, please like this video, subscribe to the channel and be notified when I put out new videos just like this. And we'll see you in the next video.